this is one of the molds of one day saving and this one I was very excited about. Uh, the good thing with epoxy molds is you don't have to have any creativity in your bone. You just need to know a bit about color and stuff. So I will explain you a bit about epoxy. This is the epoxy I use, but the basic is always two elements that you need to mix together and mix it until it's clear because it gets a little um, smooshy when you put the two components together. So you need to stir until it's clear. I always uh, use uh, baking paper or I think you call it butcher paper underneath my stuff because uh, how neat you work it doesn't matter epoxy will go everywhere and with this paper you can just uh, throw it away when you're done I also uh, advise to use gloves because you can uh, get uh, some uh, reaction to uh, epoxy I ha never had it but it's better sure the room you work in is uh, well Aired, so make sure you have a window open or something so that you get fresh air it's even better to wear a mask but I don't do that but uh, you work with chemicals because epoxy is a chemical because it's two components you mix together and then it will harden out like acrylic so be safe use it wisely well, I made my epoxy now, I, I measured it and I'm gonna steer it until it's uh, clear. When my epoxy is done, I use little cups to give uh, different amounts of epoxy different colors. So I don't mix the epoxy per color, but just a bunch of epoxy and then I will divide it with the colors I need. You can use different kind of uh, material to color your epoxy. The first thing was a pigment uh, powder. You can use alcohol ink or you can use uh, paste. Uh, it depends on the effect you want. With the pigment powder you get uh, a sparkly effect, a metallic effect and with the alcohol ink you get a transparent color so you can look through it and with the paste you get a solid color so it really depends on the effect you want. This one is transparent and that's the alcohol ink I used so this, this effect is what you get. And I want to use uh, a lot of different colors in thi this mold, but I want them all have blue tints and a bit of white. Well, this part, it's all up to you what you use. You can use a lot of different colors. You can use just a solid color. It, it's all uh, what you, you want. And uh, let your imagination go, go wild, I would say. So... I will uh, color my uh, epoxy and I will pour the mold halfway because I want to put some glitter in it as well and because of that glitter is a bit heavy and if I would put it right here right now it will sink to the bottom which will cause that the glitter will all only be on the front and I want to be it evenly in the mold so I will do one layer with uh, this epoxy I will let it dry for a few hours and then I will go, go and finish this mold filling with epoxy but also with glitter now eight late hours later the epoxy is hard enough to put some chunky glitter in it and some fine glitter so now I'm gonna decorate some and then I will pour another layer of epoxy on it so the mold is uh, filled until the top and then we let it dry for another 24 hours and we can see the results and I'm very curious how this is gonna look like because you, that's the fun thing with epoxy.
epoxy and when you mix colors you never know how it's gonna look you can try to have an idea but it always uh, goes a different way so let's see what's happening in 24 hours As you can see it's now hard enough and now we're gonna remove the mold. Do it carefully and let uh, the mold slide off the epoxy and uh, don't be rough. Just move it along the way, make sure air is coming in and then the mold will release easily. This is even looking better than I imagined. Look how shiny it is. And it's very stir, stir. And I can wait to hang it on my wall and put my keys in it. Now we can release the family uh, puppets for the keychains where the keys are gonna uh, be. I made them stand out on purpose because I wanted uh, to, to be noticed. So you can choose to put them in the same color of course and that they blend in with the rest. Let's see how they fit. And they fit perfectly. And remember this needs to put on a wall so they will be hanging. Now the last part to put the keys on the key holders and put some bead on it or whatever you like and then it's done and you have a great home decor item and a place where everyone wants to hang their keys and never lose them hopefully again. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a home decor key holder with the epoxy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more dye and home decor projects. Thank you for watching.